What's up guys, in today's video we're going to do a full walk around of our 14K Scissor Hoist DJX dump trailer and compare that to our DTX telescopic dump trailer. Stay tuned to the end of the video, we're going to load both of these trailers up and see how they dump side by side. So up front here we have a 2 and 5 16 inch Demco Easy Latch adjustable coupler. Now you'll see that the lever is spring loaded so it's super easy to use, you just hook up to your truck, you can leave the lever down, it'll auto lock. And that's mounted to a six hole channel so it's you have a lot of room for adjustments moving on to the safety chains you'll see that we have slots cut into the tongue here so you can store it when you're not using the trailer you won't be dragging this in the mud so uh, you can keep your trailer nice and tidy uh, another cool feature is the coiled string for the breakaway switch so notice we didn't have it tied to anything it's just sitting here so just like these safety chains we like to keep things out of the way super easy to use you just hook this up to your truck and when you're done you leave it sitting. Moving on to the seven-way RV style plug. Uh, you'll see that we use dual connectors. A lot of other guys like to use a single prong, but we believe this will keep you out of trouble for a lot longer. You're, l you're less likely to run into any shorts or connectivity problems. Um, and you'll also see that we have a hole cut into the plate up here in the front. Uh, we, we have that to store your plug. In some cases, we've seen when uh, some guys, they'll leave their plug sitting up when it rains or something. It'll backfeed because there's a battery. It'll backfeed and your lights will start to turn on even when it's not plugged into a truck. So this will prevent that. It'll keep water and the elements from getting into the connectors. You'll also see that we have this trailer upgraded to a hydraulic jack. This is a 20K Lippert hydraulic jack, which is more pushing power than you'll ever need. Standard, this trailer will come with a 10K drop leg jack. Moving on to the massive toolbox up here in the front. This leaves a ton of room for storage and also keeping it separate from all the components in the back. The toolbox here is about 37 inches wide, 21 inches long, and 12 inches deep. So for those of you that have to carry straps, booms, uh, really anything for the job site, you have plenty of room for storage up here in the front. Now in the back, we have your components, so your hydraulic pump, your battery, your controller for the hydraulic pump. As you can see, this trailer has been equipped with the Tough Wireless Remote. When you, when you order a trailer with the Tough Wireless Remote, you'll see that the receiver box is on the right hand side here. What's really cool about this remote is it's rechargeable and it's weatherproof. So, that means you don't have to keep replacing your batteries and if you happen to leave this out in the rain or if your if your employees leave it in the rain it's no problem it will survive and my favorite part is the range you have about 250 feet of range so that will never be an issue for you again all of our dump trailers also come equipped with the noco battery charger what's really cool is that you can leave it plugged in for weeks at a time or even months at a time if you if you want to it won't overcharge and it won't undercharge even in extreme weather. So to charge it, you just take your cord, you put it in this small slot here, you close your toolbox and you can lock it to keep people from getting in there and you can keep charging your battery. So the DJX is built on an eight inch by 15 pound I-beam frame. It's pretty standard in the industry to use an eight inch frame, but most of the other guys will use a 12 pound or a 13 pound frame but we know that the dump trailer is one of the most abused trailers in the industry. So you don't want to cheap out on your frame or save weight or any of that. So we use a 15 pound frame. Moving on to the cross members, the standard in the industry for cross member spacing is 16 inches. This trailer comes standard with 12 inch cross member spacing. And in some areas it's even denser than 12 inches. You'll see here it's spaced at about nine and a half, maybe 10 inches. Now the only area where you won't have 12 inches is right here above the hoist. Now that's just so that you have room for the bed to sit down. Moving on to the scissor hoist, we use a 6x20 heavy duty 17,000 pound scissor hoist. Uh, most of the industry will use a 5x20 or a 5x16, which is more common. Uh, we like to use a 6x20, just to put that into perspective. This is what we use. This is the 6x20 uh, cylinder and this is a 5x16 cylinder. Uh, the 6 inch circle gives you about 28 inches of surface area versus the 5 inch circle that gives you about 19 inches of surface area. So this cylinder gives you about 44% more pushing power. Um, 
the geometry and the placement of the scissor hoist also plays a factor in how much it'll lift. But with this cylinder and the placement of our scissor, we make sure that this trailer will lift every bit of its stated carrying capacity. The DJX comes standard with two 7,000 pound Lippert electric brake axles. And that comes standard with 16 inch wheels and 10 ply tires. You'll see that this trailer has been upgraded to two 8,000 pound electric brake axles. And when you order this trailer with the 8,000 pound axles, you'll get this wheel and tire setup standard. These are 17 and a half inch wheels, 16 ply tires. We also chose to go with grease for the axle bearings. Now that's because if you do happen to crack the cap, you won't lose your grease like you would with oil. It's a lot easier to work with, uh, makes it super easy for your, for your maintenance. Moving on to the sides, this trailer comes standard with two foot sides like this trailer here. It's also available in three foot sides and four foot sides. Now all of these side options come standard with the tough side design. That's a three inch top cap that wraps around the whole top of the, of the bedside for extra strength where it matters. You also see that this top cap is welded to the three inch rear tube. Most other guys will use a two inch. We like to use a three inch for the extra vertical strength. As with all of our dump trailers, you'll have the spreader gate and barn door combo. For those of you that are spreading some gravel, uh, you have your chain here so you can adjust it to, you know, however far open you want it. You just set your chain here in this slot and in this slot, you pull the lever and it's that easy. Now moving on to the barn doors. I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of dump trailers with the auto locking latches up at the top. Now those are cool and we actually used to have that latch up at the top. What you run into with most designs is over time they'll start to rust. That's just what happens with trailers. They start to rust and they'll seize up and then they get really hard to use. These are tried and true and really the only way they'll quit working on you is if you rip them off your door completely. Now, this is for you guys that are hauling full load, just need to dump a whole load of gravel or whatever it is you're carrying. Uh, even for those of you hauling equipment. Now for those, it's really cool. This trailer also comes standard with seven foot slide out ramps. You have two hooks up here at the front Super easy to use, you just pull them out. It does come standard. So for those of you that are hauling equipment, as most of you know, you're gonna need these stabilizer jacks. Without it, you're either gonna lift in front of your truck or you're just gonna put a lot of stress here at the rear of your trailer. Keep in mind, this trailer does come standard with the seven foot slide out ramps and the stabilizer jacks. So that is the full overview of our 14K Scissor Hoist DJX. Now, moving on to the 16K telescopic dump trailer. You'll notice one of the key differences in this trailer is the toolbox up here in the front. So because of this cylinder, you're not gonna have as much room for storage. So you have a lot less room for storage there in the corner. Most of this is gonna be taken up with your hydraulic pump. In this case, it's also been upgraded with the hydraulic jack, so you have two separate pumps. This one here is gonna be for your hydraulic jack, and then this one with the massive reservoir is gonna be the hydraulic pump for your cylinder. Overall, the design is basically the same. Up front here, we have the two and five sixteenths inch Demco Easy Latch adjustable coupler. You have the the six hole channel. Everything here is basically the same. The frames are built the same. Uh, a key difference in this trailer as well is the cross member spacing. Because you don't have the scissor hoist, you have true 12 inch spacing between all these cross members. And you'll see that the biggest difference between these two trailers is the lifting mechanism. This trailer here, the DJX, has the 17K hydraulic scissor hoist. This trailer has the 12 ton hydraulic cylinder up in the front. Now the benefit to the telescopic cylinder is you have all your pushing power up at the front. If you were to load a little front heavy in this trailer, you're gonna bog it down. Any weight that's in front of the scissor hoist is gonna be negative leverage, and you don't have that with this telescopic cylinder because it's at the front of your load. Another difference between these two trailers are the axles. Like I mentioned before, 
The DJX comes standard with two 7,000 pound Lippert brake axles. The DTX comes standard with two 8,000 pound axles. And remember, with 8,000 pound axles, you get this 17 and a half inch wheel and 16 ply tires combo standard. Another difference is gonna be the sides. This trailer comes standard with two foot sides, just like you see here. And this trailer has three foot sides, just like you see here. Now moving on to the back, Overall, the trailer is the same. You're gonna get the pull-out ramps, the seven-foot slide-out ramps, the spreader gate, and barn door combo. Everything else here is the same. Now we're gonna go ahead and load both of these trailers up and then see how they dump. So we just weighed both of these trailers, just to make sure they're empty, to show you guys. This is truck number one, this is truck number two, DJ and DT. It's like truck number one weighed in at a gross weight of 13,840 pounds and truck number two came in at 14,120 pounds. So we're gonna go ahead and load both of these up and we'll be back real soon. Looks like a lot less because the sides are taller. So this one has the three foot sides, the DJ has the two foot sides. So. All right guys, so we just loaded both trailers and we just got them both re-weighed. So truck one, which is this DJX here, looks like the original weight was 13,840, and we just weighed it at 23,780. So that adds uh, about 11,000 pounds, or about 1,500 chai of capacity. Truck number two, the DTX, weighed in at 14,120, and we're now at 25,720. So that's about 1,000 pounds shy of capacity. So these are a little bit underweight, but we're gonna go ahead and roll with what we got. All right, guys, both trailers are loaded up. We're gonna go ahead and get these two trailers dumped. Let us know in the comments below which trailer will dump it faster, the DJX scissor hoist or the DTX telescopic. Let's get to it. All right, there we have it guys. Looks like the DTX is a little slower going both up and down. So the DJX is gonna be the winner of this video. Thanks for watching, until next time.